Okay, so today's second question is uh, 767, reorganize a string. Uh, given a string S, check if the letters can be rearranged so that the, the two characters are adjacent to each other, uh, are not the same. Uh, so meaning that we have to sandwich the two brads, uh, insert some fillings into the uh, two brads, uh, you know. Uh, if possible, we return uh, any possible result is accepted. If it's not possible, we return empty string. So example here, we have ABA. So how we have to insert the B be in, in between the A's to get uh, the uh, output. And that's the only valid output. The second case, we have AAB. Uh, it's not possible because um, uh, we just don't have enough fillers to, uh, to scatter the A's and we notice that the, the we have three a's which is larger than the half of the sequence length so if that's the case there we just don't have enough fillers to separate those the longest uh, the, the most frequent uh, characters so this question I, I think it's uh, quite similar to the one that uh, I, I did yesterday the task scheduler you almost feel like uh, it's the same question except that uh, uh, it's a it's a watered down version of that. Uh, where is the uh, you know we are not allowed to do idle slot here, and uh, the uh, the cooldown interval is just a one. So uh, it, it kind of feel like a special case for that uh, task scheduler problem. I will put a link uh, somewhere uh, so you can check that out for analysis. And uh, since that we actually need uh, one of the possible string result, um, the mass mathematical calculation of the lens thing uh, from from that uh, question cannot be carried over for solving this, but uh, the um, priority Q one can can still uh, be applied here. So, just thinking that we have an empty string and we try to select the characters from the input uh, array. Let's get grab the one character at a time and insert here and try to maintain this property. Uh, there is some kind of priority for the characters we, that we grab. We always want to grab the character with the highest um, uh, frequency count because those are the ones that uh, if we don't handle them early on, we will eventually run out of uh, fillers to uh, get uh, you know to satisfy the condition. So that's just a a very straightforward intuition for for this. So the we just greedily uh, in iterate iteration when we grab a character from the input string and, in, and put that into our no result string, we always grab the one with the highest frequency count. And just to help facilitate this um, uh, uh, process, we use a maximum maximum priority queue so that we always grab the most current, uh, most frequent one uh, at any given time uh, without the necessary to sort everything. So um, the time complexity will be n log k and the space complexity will be uh, just uh, uh, n log, uh, log, log k uh, or, or you know the the uh, the the number of uh, no the the space is number of uh, unique uh, characters so um, yeah so that's uh, uh, yeah that's the that's uh, yeah so that's k uh, k yeah the time complexity is n log k with k being the number of unique characters so uh, with that said uh, let's actually call this up really quickly where's my mouse oh, okay. So we have a priority queue, which is the uh, for the for the characters and the the counts, the uh, ch count. Uh, doesn't matter why I'm. Uh, it would be too long. Let me actually import this. Keep Q in Python is min Q, so we'll use a negate of the count and uh, the characters here. So that's our priority queue in the beginning. 
uh, uh, Pi video. Uh, the the uh, during this this uh, if possible or not possible determination. Uh, that's just uh, we look at the the characters with the highest frequency con and check compare that with uh, half a uh, half of the size of uh, the string. And uh, if it's larger uh, than the half of the size, then we have no way of uh, scattering them around. Then it's not possible. Otherwise, we resume this uh, priority queue procedure. Um, so, um, so this is the half of the size. Oh, yeah, the, the the this one is the uh, no uh, I, I don't need to check everything uh, because it's already hippified uh, we can do just take the top elements and uh, the first thing negate is the count and compare that with the lens uh, if that's the case uh, there is it's not possible to scatter the most uh, frequent uh, uh, characters around so that uh, yeah yeah th this this check uh, handles the uh, possible or not possible case and then we will try to construct the output um, one of the possible output uh, while the priority queue still have at least two elements what we'll do is um, uh, we we'll actually pop two things because there we have one uh, we have to uh, basically fill 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 the gap. Uh, we couldn't uh, uh, take the most frequent element twice in 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 because there we have to separate those. So we take two elements at a time. Uh, H1 Q. Pop, PQ, and after that we decrement the frequency count. That's uh, we uh, we uh, we decrement the frequency count, and uh, if we ever uh, go beyond zero, uh, go beyond one, we don't push it back onto the priority queue. Because it's a negate, uh, we decrement the frequency. It's actually in, in, uh, equivalent to plus one. Uh, the same thing goes for uh, the second uh, uh, second element. Yeah, I guess this uh, uh, should. Yeah. Um, in the end, we just uh, reconstruct the string and re return that. So if we still have some one possible leftover stuff on the priority queue, uh, we just append that. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the solution. Um, let me quickly check if we have any possible or potential problems. Uh, we grab the most the two frequent the two characters and just um, um, insert them extend this by, by these two things uh, as long as the, we still have one more of those uh, uh, one more of the character the letter we push it back uh, but at the same time we decrement the count uh, this is one one two 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 one 
and uh, if we have any leftover characters, we uh, append that in the end. Mm. And it's guaranteed that uh, if we ever have anything left over, that must uh, have frequency just one. Otherwise, uh, it will be separated or uh, handled early on because in this greedy uh, solution, we always uh, 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 so it's guaranteed uh, that uh, this this will be just only one thing. Um, th this will have frequency just one if it ever exists uh, uh, in in the uh, dangling in the end to another priority queue. So let's try submit this. Yeah, uh, so uh, it's accepted. Okay, that's the second question for the day. Um.